Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you my two most favorite part on this very awesome J Chow song, okay? So, I'm going to teach you the introduction, the very awesome piano part in the introduction goes something like this. Here's the preview. So awesome, right? Yeah, I'll be teaching you that. It's jumping around on right hand, but it's actually not that hard when I break it up when I teach you. Okay, anyway, so that's the introduction, that's the preview, and I'm going to also teach you the chorus, the very awesome chorus I like as well. It goes like this. Here's the preview. So the chorus is awesome as well, I really like this song, very catchy, and those chord changes are awesome. So those are the two parts I'm going to teach you, the introduction and the chorus. Now let's jump straight into the introduction. So the introduction, right hand, goes on A, this is middle C, which is starting on this A, okay? A, B, C, and then down here, E, F, E, C, E. Okay, that's the first part. Let's break it up into four parts because there's a lot of jumping around in this introduction. Let's do it again. A, B, C, E, F, B, C, D. So that's the right hand for the first part. Okay, the left hand, the chord is A minor. A, C, E. Okay, so that's the first part. So, let's put the two hands together. Right hand starts first. C and A minor together. Like that. Okay, let's do it again. Together. that okay so that's the first part let's move on to the second part the right hand what happens here is really difficult because we go to probably this E and we have to go all the way up here to this B which is an octave and a fifth above so it goes there and there up to B here yeah massive jump and then it goes to F sharp D natural D sharp or E D sharp F sharp okay Excuse my voice, I'm kind of like sick, but anyway. So, the jump goes from E, and then up to B. And F sharp, D, D sharp, E, D sharp, F sharp. Okay, so once you get that for the right hand, just practice that jump and stuff. We get the left hand, the chord, which is B major. B, D sharp, F sharp. Okay, so that's the chord, B major. So, we jump from the E up to B, and putting the two hands together, B and B major together. Just like that. From the E, jump to B and B together. Okay, so that's that. Okay, now, moving on to the third part of the introduction. Um, let me see, yep. This part is easier, so let's just put the two hands together. It goes E on the right hand and E7 chord on the left hand. So E, G sharp, B, D is together. So E and G sharp, A, C. Okay, and then, yeah, okay, that's the third part. Okay, again, together, G sharp, A, C. So that's the third part. And then the fourth part, we can do it with two hands as well because there's only two notes. What we do here, from the C, is a massive, massive jump again. It's crazy with the jumps in this song. So, C, from this C, we have to jump all the way down to G sharp for our right hand. It's crazy, right? G sharp and then A. So, our right hand goes G sharp and A with A minor chord on the left hand. Pretty crazy, right? This C, you have to jump all the way down, G sharp and A and A minor chord together. That's the fourth part. And that's it. Yeah. So it's like you can do like um pa rhythm or waltzy rhythm too because this is uh this song is in three four like in a waltzy um rhythm. So it's like yeah that kind of stuff. So it's like like that. Yeah. Even.
even I kind of stuffed up like this part previously just then because like yeah the jump is actually pretty intense like you have to look at where you're going so if you don't look properly you'll play the wrong note so yeah last part you really need to practice C to G sharp remember to practice that Okay, so those few jumps you need to practice a lot or else you'll miss them and just like, if you're not focusing, you'll miss them definitely. So anyway, that's the introduction for you guys. So let's move on to the chorus. Okay, so let's start. The chorus is A, B, C, C, B, A, G sharp, A, B, C. Okay, that's the first part. Let's do it again. A, B, C, C, B, A, G sharp, A, B, C. Okay, so that's the right hand for the first part. The left hand is these few chords, it's A minor, A, C, E. Then we have B major, B, D sharp, F sharp. Then we have E major, E, G sharp, B. Then we have A minor, A, C, E. So, those four chords. Okay, let's do it again. A minor, B major, E major, A minor. So putting the two hands together, right hand starts first, A, B, and then C with A minor together. B and B major together. G sharp and E major together. C and A minor together. Just like that. Okay, one more time. Together. Together. Together, together. Okay, that's the first part of the chorus. The second part is really, really exactly the same, but just one note at the end is different on the right hand. I'll show you exactly what it is. So the second part goes the same at the start. Same, same, same. After the B, instead of going to C, we just finish on A and A minor together. That's the only thing different. See, right hand, only one note different. Let's do it again, second part. Together. To A. Okay, so the whole time you have to be counting one, two, three the whole way. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, one, one, two. Yeah, etc. Because like this is a waltzy rhythm, and if you don't count one, two, three the whole way, it will be wrong because you can't be like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. The whole mood kind of changes if you count like that. So anyway, so that's the first two parts of the chorus. The third part is um, on the right hand. It goes okay. It goes C sharp, D, E, A, E, A, E, A, G, F, and then D, G, D, G, D, G. F, E. Okay, like that. Let's do it again. C sharp, D, E, A, E, A, E, e up to this A, G, F. Okay, and then D, G, D, G, D, up to this G, F, E. Like that. Okay, and the left hand chords is these following four chords. It's A major, A, C sharp, E, D minor, D, F, A. G major, G B D, and C major, C E G. Those four chords. Let's do it again. A major, D minor, G major, and C major. Okay. So put the two hands together. Right hand starts first. Together. G and D minor together. D and G major together. F and C major together. One more time. Together. 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 Just like that. Okay, so that's the third part of the chorus. And then the last part is pretty simple. Right hand goes C, D, E, E, D, E, B. Like that. One more time. C, D, E, E, D. A, B. Okay, left hand is F major, F, A, C, and then 
E major, E, G sharp, B. There's two chords, so F major and E major. Okay, put them two hands together, C and F major together. E major by itself. Like that. Together, one more time. Together. Here. Yeah, okay, so that's pretty much it. So the whole chorus, you can add the kind of like um pop up feel, the waltz feel to make it sound more waltzy. Look at the arpeggios. song to have fun with and uh, counting in like the mine the arpeggios will be one two three four five six because it's div divided by like it's divisible by six i mean not six divisible by three what we're talking about so it's like one two three four five six 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 those kind of stuff okay so have fun with it really love the introduction really love the chorus hope you enjoy learning these two parts as well and as for now enjoy time on my channel over my other tutorials and covers on my channel I have over 600 of them for you to have fun with and as for now enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time hello everybody thanks for watching click the subscribe button if you want more piano tutorials like these sent to your news feed every day Click the first link in the description below to grab my free ebook teaching you my exact methods on how I play any song by ear within 10 to 20 minutes. If you are completely new to music, then start with my Udemy Approved Beginners course by clicking the second link. If you want me to play or teach you any full song of your choice, then become my patron by clicking the third link. And if you just want to watch my full piano cover of the song I just taught, then find my cover in my piano playlists.